So this is a video example on how to add and subtract rational expressions. And what we're doing is just what we always do uh, with fractions when we add or subtract fractions. And the whole deal with the fractions is we need to um, have a common denominator in order to combine these with, with addition or subtraction. Notice that's different with multiplication. With multiplication, we can just multiply straight across, factor everything and cancel. But in this case, we're going to find a common denominator. So taking a look at this, um, notice I have this x minus 2 as a denominator and x plus 5 as a denominator. So I want them to be the same. So I'm going to have to multiply this by x plus 2 over x plus 2. I multiply this one by x plus 5 over x plus 5. And um, I'm doing that, so now they have the same denominator. So up top, I'm going to distribute that 3 into there. So I have a 3x squared plus 15x, and that's over. Notice that x plus 5 times x plus 2. And then here, I'm going to distribute that 2x. So I have a 2x squared minus, uh, plus 4x, 2x squared 4x over x plus 5 times x plus 2. Same denominator. And notice here I'm subtracting. So I'm subtracting each of these pieces. So these actually both get negated. Um, in other words, this is going to be a negative 2x, and this is going to be a negative 4x. So let's see what I have. Uh, 3x squared minus 2x squared, 1x squared. Uh, 15x minus 4x is 11x. And that's over um, x plus 5 times x plus 2. So this fraction is uh, this fraction minus that fraction. Next one. Um, same sort of deal. We're adding, though. This fraction. And notice we have an x plus 3 here. And then we have this x squared plus 5x plus 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor this. Uh, into some pieces, you know, so it's some things multiplied together. So um, things that multiply to 6, add to 5 would be 3 and 2. So this factors to x plus 3 times x plus 2. And that's nice. They, they, they both, if you'll notice, have an x plus 3 in common already. So I actually don't need to do anything to this denominator um, because to make them alike. But here, I'm going to multiply this by this version of 1, this x plus 2 over x plus 2. And uh, if I do that, I notice that I have just 4 over x plus 3 times x plus 2 plus, distribute that 2x into there, 2x squared plus 2x, and that's over this x plus 3 times x plus 2. And so then now when I add these together, uh, none of these will combine. They're all not like terms. So 2x squared plus 2x plus 4, that whole thing's over x plus 3 times x plus 2. And that's that's good enough. I'll, that's as far as I'll go. That is those two fractions added together. Uh, now, third one, subtracting again. So notice before when I was factoring this one, it had three terms, and it factored in the two pieces. This one only has two terms. It basically has an A and a B in it. So what I'm going to try to do is factor something out of it. And as I look at these two, um, they're both divisible by 2 and by x. So I'm going to factor out a 2x. And if I do that, what's left is just a single x here. And 4 divided by 2 is a 2. Uh, similarly, in this one, I can factor out a 5. 5 goes into both of those. So I'm going to factor out a 5. What's left is x minus 2. And I can see that uh, they both have an x minus 2 in common. So I don't need to do anything for that. But this one needs a 5, so I'm going to multiply by 5 over 5 here. This one needs a 2x, so I'm going to multiply by 2x over 2x here. So my denominator, 5 times 2x, is going to be 10x times x minus 2. And notice 5 times 3x is 15x, uh, still subtracting. 3 times 2x is 6x, and 2x times 5 is 10x x minus 2. Those denominators match. They should. And I have 15x minus 6x, so that's going to be 9x over 10x times x minus 2. And um, these have an x in common. So what I can do, one thing I can do then, is I can actually uh, divide out that x, simplify that out. So that leaves me 9 over 
10 times x minus 2. So that is, boop, 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 those two fractions.